I am going to be having a second cardiac ablation procedure done in the coming weeks. If you want to find out why the first procedure didn't work, stick around. Welcome back to Getting Epic. My name is Tim. On this channel, I'm gonna talk about my health, I'm gonna talk about my weight loss journey, and what it means to be a dad. Learning something new every single day. My little man is growing up so fast, and I want him to see a healthy dad, not a medical riddled dad sitting in a hospital bed all the time. All right, so like I said, I'm having a second cardiac ablation. I don't know if you saw my other video, which I'll link above. That video was me in the actual hospital after my cardiac ablation. So this is a pre-version of another ablation I'll be having. If you watch that video, the team did an amazing job at doing the ablation. The reason I'm having this procedure again is because I'm just a baby, probably. During my last procedure, I was laying on the table and they started doing the burning inside my heart and the chest pressure was so excruciating painful that I asked them to kind of give me some more pain medication. The pain medication kind of put me to sleep. Once the doctors were all set, they wanted to test to make sure everything was working correctly as it should. So they gave me this substance which they called Expresso. I don't know what's in it or what it is, but in the end, it makes my heart go nutty. It goes wild, which is great right? But the sleepy medication slowed down my heart. So the espresso didn't really quite work as well. So they told me they needed to end the surgery. So this procedure ended. Later that evening, when I was finally able to move and sit up, they told me that they didn't capture all of it. And I had some, you know, arrhythmias, um, some AFib and NSVT um, going on inside the hospital. So then they tried to control it with medication. And I made multiple videos there while I was in the hospital because I was so bored. Hold 10 days in the hospital. What else was I gonna do? Watch TV and play video games. So I made good use of the time, right? So I tried a series of medications and nothing seemed to really work inside my system. So they ended up putting me on amiodarone. I've been on it before after my open heart surgery and it's an amazing drug. It was life-changing. I kind of felt normal, to be honest. They didn't really want me back in the hospital because there's gonna be another outbreak of COVID, which they were predicting, which actually did happen. I was sent home on amiodarone, other known as amio, in the heart community. It's a very potent drug. It has long-term health effects. Um, it attacks your thyroid, kidneys, liver, like everything that's major in your system, even your lungs. like. So they don't really want me on a long term. I met with the doctor about two and a half months ago and he told me to stop taking Amio. It's got a long half-life. And today, I still feel great. Um, it's been literally 63 days since I've been off the drug and I haven't had any symptoms or any issues. But I'm expecting them to come soon because kind of like my open heart surgery, I got off Amio during cardiac rehab and towards the end of cardiac rehab, I started showing symptoms. I was also working out. I'm not really working out right now. I'm kind of in that feared state again that am I allowed to work out? I don't know. So as the amio fades in my system, I should start having arrhythmias again, maybe some NSVT. He's not too concerned because I do have a pacemaker, so I have a backup system, but they want to see a lot of symptoms so that way they can go back in and fix it. But this time I've been warned that I have to deal with the pain unless I want to have another ablation, which I don't really want to. The first one kind of was easy, but I was drugged up. <laughs> this time, it's not going to be very easy. I need to man up and do it. Um, I need to get the surgery done and complete so I can go back to living a normal life. If you've had a cardiac ablation, I would love to know how yours has went. If you haven't had one yet, leave me some comments down below. I would love to hear about why you have to have a cardiac ablation. You're probably watching this to learn more about what goes on. So whenever I go into the hospital again, I'm going prepared. 
I'm gonna bring so much stuff with me so that way I can actually record and make a good video. I already have a bag packed ready to go because if I start having symptoms and I have to go to the emergency room, it's an automatic go to the freaking hospital by ambulance. I already know. I've, I've, I've done it too many times not to know. Be sure to follow along on my journey. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel and you'll never miss anything. And I also wanna say one other thing. Not everybody looks at YouTube all the time. I'm starting to collect emails. I plan on sending a monthly newsletter of all the videos I've posted that particular month. That way you have a quick link to watch anything that might interest you. That way you don't have to come on YouTube looking for a video. I know when I'm bored, I'll look at some of my friend's videos that they send me via email and I'm like, I'm gonna watch it because I got nothing else to do. And I find some really useful information. I just wanna help you get through your procedure. In my description below, you'll find the email signup link. I just require your first name and email. Once that happens and I send my first newsletter out, feel free to click reply and ask me a personal question. I'd be happy to answer anything inside an email uh, platform. All right, have a good one. Bye.